I was especially attracted to a Theo for a reason that I wanted, I want to hear if, if you did this on purpose. Um, Theo for Christians embodies something that is very special, it's very dear to us. The idea of, uh, of righteous actions or some kind of connection to sort of a, 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 a Messiah thing. Uh, because he was, he, he was sort of beyond human. He was working very quietly. Uh, and I don't mean Messiah as in the Jewish concept. I mean Messiah from the Christian, Christian uh, standpoint. So it, 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 it drew me in. Had you thought of that? No. Wow. <laughs> wow. Absolutely did not. Um, I mean, now that you mention it, it's certainly there. You know, because the, the Christian Messiah uh, was, was hidden. I mean, he, he wasn't so overt in what he did. Uh, you know, uh, he didn't spend most of his time in Jerusalem, that kind of thing. So I'm not saying that, that, that you were, you, you know, you were doing, you, you were trying to, you know, obviously you weren't, but I, what I'm saying is, is that you've, you've touched on something, which, and maybe it's universal. I was going to ask you if this, if you were doing it on purpose, were you, were, were you touching something about the Jewish uh, longing for change uh, and for the, the coming of Messiah and where you sort of embodied it's, some of it's that. It's kind of funny when you, when, you, when you say that because I don't know if it was conscious. Um, the, the character I most closely associate with is actually Theo's father. I, uh, if there's any character in there that I could say, I tried to make him like me and I tried to be like him, it's Theo's dad. Um, Interesting. Interesting. Yeah, Interesting. I'll, I'll tell you a story. Um, when, I, when I lived in Badain, our house was at the bottom of a hill, and the trail going down to the hill, because we that, get down to the house, it, wasn't, it was a trail. It kind of made an S curve. And one day I was sitting there um, having breakfast with my son, and my son turns to me and says, you know, so-and-so is going to be here in a minute. I'm like, how does he know that? You know, and then the door, someone knocked at the door, and it was the person. And I'm like, well, what would it be like to be the father uh, of a tzaddik? Yes, you know? yes, yes. Um, of course, I, I didn't realize that I didn't realize that he was actually could see the top of the hill from where he was sitting. <laughs> it wasn't, you know, it, my, my my son is well. That's what the righteous can do. They, they, they can see. Yeah, <laughs> it's just right. they can see what others can't. I mean, I, I mean, I'm in love with my son, but he's he doesn't see the future that much. Um, <laughs> So, I mean, there is the concept of, yeah, the, the, the righteous person kind of like one step aside. Yeah. Um, and uh, it's actually a very sweet thing. You know, it's, it's a very, it's, 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 if, if that is a Christian concept, it's a very sweet concept. Yeah. Yeah. You know, the hiddenness. It's, 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 yeah. It's, it's, it's the way it should be. Yeah. Yeah. Um. And one other thing you wrote, and I think this was in your, your own self-description, that really grabbed me, uh, was it says, the way you see people, I, I, uh, that, that in your real world interaction, that you are always looking for stories, you're always looking for people and their stories. You've written a book about many different people and their stories. And what you say that you're looking for when you interact in the real world is that you see people as a once in eternity expression of God's wonder. Oh, yeah. I think that is a, an amazing quote. Yeah. What, isn't, that, isn't that what it is? It, is it? Is oh, it for, yes. Oh, yeah. I, mean, it, I, mean, I, I agree with you, but, 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 but I've never... I, I mean... See, when I read that, I thought, oh, that's, that's what I believe. Right. Because that's the way it is. If you have eyes, if you have ears, then you can't say anything else. But, and, how, but how, did, how did that come to you? How did those words come to you? Oh, don't don't tell me you don't tell me you just typed and... and uh, yes, they, actually, know. that is what happened. But yeah, so I won't tell you that. But, <laughs> but, that is what but I mean, you know, you sit down and talk with someone and... They, they're, the concept of a unique individual is, I mean, it's, it, every person is unique. 
um, which is a mind-boggling concept. You know, to, I mean, everyone yes. goes. Through, I think there's actually other languages where they have the word to describe the experience when you're walking down the street and suddenly realize that everyone is walking around in their, with, you know, that there are an entire world and that yes. there's there, there's yes. a word for that. Yes. We just don't yes. have it in English. Yes. Um, but that that is so true, and and the level at which it's true is 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 astounding. When you sit down, and I mean that's that's where what I mean about communication and connecting. You know, you sit down at the Shabbos table and you listen to where the person came from, what they're trying to do in their life, where they're going. It's just, wow. So when I say I'm listening for people's stories, I don't want to, you know, oh, you know, I was out and, you know, this amazing thing happened to me. No. Who are you? Yes. Who yes. are you? It could be, you know, totally mundane and you think that, you know, there are billions of people with the same story, but that's so not true. You know, you're irreplaceable. You're, you're like, you know, you speak to these people and they're, they're, there's, you know, and they have one child that looks at them with eyes that no one else, that no one else gets those eyes. And, and, and that's, and, and, it's, and it's temporal, yes. it goes away. Yes. You know, we're only here for a set period of time. And that, I mean, that is a miracle that if we, if we stop to think about it, we wouldn't be able to move. Wow. Well, what you've just told me uh, helps me connect and and understand how I want to ask our viewers uh, to, to read the book. Um, because I, I think I get it now. You, 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 you sit down and you're free. When you're writing, you're free. You're free. It comes out. Um, the, you, that which is in your heart and soul has been placed there by the experiences and that which God gives you right at that moment, it comes out. And I think that for me... The, uh, the beauty about this book is that not only do you get a set of stories, uh, a very interesting story of, of, of Theo as the hope merchant uh, connecting with all of these different people and, and uh, interrupting their lives, but I think at the same time you get a channel if you, <laughs> to understand the Jewish soul. Because I, 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 think, I, think it's, I think it's here. I, in fact, when I read this book, I read it in two ways. For the stories, but also to understand you. Because uh, it really does give a window into, I, I think, I, I, it at least begins the process of giving a window in what, what, is, in, what is in the Jewish heart uh, for the world uh, and uh, it was very beautiful. If, if that's true, if that's true, uh, if, if I can, I'd like to say one more thing. I, I, had, a, sure. I had a difficult experience. Um, my publisher sent a couple books to a um, book group, a reader's group, um, a very high-powered, uh, powerful executive women. And it was very early on when we first published, and they hated it. And I was like, oh, and my publisher, Shimon, was amazing. He said, no, you don't understand. That's good. It means you said something. Yeah. And if you say something, then there are people who will disagree. He said, well, who were these people? These were women who have put the accent, put the emphasis on their careers. So when you say the Jewish soul, that may be, but I think... I think I, 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 I could be wrong, but I, at this point in my life, I'm looking around and I'm seeing the world changing where there, the world is becoming polarized. There are no people sitting yes, on the fence yes, anymore. Yes. You, and, you, and there are people who, who you call it a Jewish soul. I think, it's, I think it's becoming much more universal than just Jewish soul. I think there are parts of this book that aren't easy. Uh, there's some difficult stories that, that you have to get through to get there. I see what you're saying about the, the polarization that is happening. It, it's reflected in here. And it's not that it captures every Jew, but it's, I think it captures uh, something about how the God-fearing Jew from Israel uh, is, is, is seeing, seeing the world. And, and uh, anyway, I very much enjoy I, that may say... I don't know if I put it in there, but um, I, I think I can agree with that. I think that the people who, it's funny, I, I, I say it a lot, I, that this book is meant for very specific people, and there are people 
who have connected with me after they read the book, and I'm like, yeah, he's one of us. He's one of us. He's he's and and I I am I am honored. I am touched to connect to those people on through that channel through yes. that point. Yes. And and I, I see it happening more and more, um, and people going to the other side. People who will not like this book. They'll read the first ten pages and just throw it away. And that's okay. They're over there. I'm over here, and we don't have that channel to connect. I'm okay with that. There are as there are aspects of the book that are tough, but you know when I say it connects to the Jewish soul, I think I think Abraham would really really enjoy it. So don't know him, but that that's that's what when I say it connects connects to the Jewish soul, he would get it. Well, I'm so happy. I uh, thank you so much for joining us uh, and. Uh, Hope the book does well, and uh, hope we can be a part of uh, making it do a little bit better. And uh, thank it, you for al being so open. Also, um, if I can mention, uh, I'm working right now, very hard, on uh, putting out a collection of short stories, um, which are along the same line of, uh, of spirituality, uh, tikkun, fixing, fixing your soul. Um, it's going to be called um, Dolphins on the Moon. Um, nice. Which is, well, nice. that's one of the stories. Um, also, uh, about, about uh, it doesn't have Theo in it, not in a real <laughs> way, but it's very much about, uh, about soul connecting, about fixing, about asking the, 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 the questions that, that come to you when all the other questions have fallen away. So, thank you very much. It's, it's been a pleasure. It has been. It has been. And I hope it has been for you. And uh, we will catch you next time. God bless. Shalom. <laughs>